Pekin white wine and tarragon are a timeless combination and this lovely recipe uses all three to make a delicious summery supper dish. Now to begin with I've got some chicken legs and what you don't need to do is wash them because that can just spread bacteria around your kitchen. But for this recipe we need to take the skin off. So they come with skin on, I've taken the skin off three of them. Just get a piece of kitchen paper, wrap it round and then just pull down towards the bone. It should come off just in a single piece just discard that skin. Now I'm just going to wash my hands and I've got a sink full of hot soapy water here. Now I've got a large saute pan here and it needs to be quite deep because we've got some sauce to add into it. So a little bit of olive oil. And now we're going to brown the chicken so just use a pair of tongs and drop them in. That's a quite a tight fit, but they should get in there nice and snugly. And to that I'm going to add some shallots. Now if they're very large, just cut them in half and then drop them in. Now I'm going to cook them for about 10 minutes, just turning from time to time until it gets really nice and brown. So I've got chicken, shallots, I'm just going to add some garlic cloves. These are quite large, so again I'm just going to halve them down the length. So don't turn them too frequently, just every few minutes. Give them a turn so we get some nice colour on there. Now for the tarragon, it's quite a pungent flavour, so don't overdo it. But about two tablespoons with the flavours of the wine and the chicken, it's going to be delicious. There we go, nice and fine. And just pop that into the pan. And we're going to add some chicken stock. And the same amount of white wine. Finally, just a couple of teaspoons of whole grain mustard. There we go. Now just bring it all to a gentle simmer and then pop a lid on and cook it for about 20 minutes. Now if you prefer a thicker sauce, you can take the lid off halfway through and let it reduce down a bit and thicken up. So the stew has had its 20 minutes now and it's looking lovely and the sauce has reduced down. So I'm just going to take it off the heat and just for a little bit of creaminess I'm going to add in a couple of tablespoons of half fat creme fraiche and just stir that in and let it melt in. There we go. So just a few leaves of tarragon. And there it is, ready to serve with some steamed rice or lovely green beans or sugar snap peas. It's my delicious tarragon chicken. Mm -hmm.